Thank you for playing with Italo Airways, and we look forward to see you again on board in a very near future. Agrivederci. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Parlay Revival. So, you guys remember that episode I did uh, a few months ago and I dedicated it to Naomi. Naomi was a friend of ours, we were sailing around with her in the San Blas Islands and she tragically drowned when she was in the uh, Las Perlas Islands after she went through the canal on another boat. So I dedicated that episode to her and I said that any money that that episode made in ad revenue, I would donate to her family. Well the episode ended up doing really well and I just happened to have a layover here in Rome and that's where her family lives. So I got a hold of Naomi's mum, uh, Rosanna, and said I wanted to give her this money. Uh, she was obviously pretty, pretty ecstatic about it and said she wanted to give it to Naomi's brother who wants to start his own tattoo parlor. So that's what I'm doing guys. After this I'm going home to New Zealand. I've been home since June 2016. So it's been six years since I've seen my family. Um, some of you guys might remember Monica, my sister has come out to the boat a couple of times but other than that I haven't seen any of my family or my friends in six years so I'm so excited. I'm going to take you guys along with me, I'll show you my house, you'll meet my family. My brother just made me an uncle for the first time ever so a lot of super exciting stuff happening in my life right now but first of all let's collect my bag and go meet Rosanna. Naomi's mum. Hi, Hi How are you? <laughs> Hurricane Irma boats toss. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? Nice to meet you. Wow. Wow. Welcome in Rome. Thank you. We made it. Yeah. This is your cat? Yes. She is a gypsy. If you go around, you can see all the machines. Oh, you can see the ocean. Ah, oh, the light yeah. lighthouse. So where's the where's the Vatican and everything? Where's, which direction? There, there is a boat. So, so that's the Rome city yes, center. More or less. Here we go. Sun. Ooh. Sunset in Rome. Marco. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Marco. He's Naomi's brother. Hi. And Hi. Uh, you're gonna give me a tattoo. Yeah. Yeah. Vivi al massimo. Vivi al massimo. Yes. Did I say that right. Hi, Yes. <laughs> it means it means to live life to the fullest. I'm excited. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay, where are we going? So we're just rearranging the whole living area here. Done! <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Really appreciate it. Wasn't too sore either. What are you cooking, Rosanna? Bifecca and salsiccia luca nega. In Italy is a special sauce. Yeah? Yes, it's I not am um... So excited. So that was, I don't think I've ever spent time with a grieving mother like that. It's all pretty fresh as well, this only happened a couple of months ago. But yeah, what a horrible thing for her to go through. No one should have to bury their daughter. They already knew who I was because they um, were given her laptop and on her laptop was her diary. 
I was mentioned in there and uh, she said some really nice things about me. So they kind of already knew who I was before I messaged them. But uh, we cried, we laughed, we shared stories. The money went to um, Naomi's brother. Naomi's mum didn't uh, tell him that that was going to happen. But she was in on it and uh, it's his birthday next week. So uh, we kind of said it was a gift from Naomi. So. Can't believe this. I'm here in Finland and we've got the transfer here. My next stop's Tokyo and then from Tokyo to Auckland. And they just upgraded me to business class. Can't believe it. Wanna move my feet. This is ridiculous. I've never been in business class before. came off the plane and it is so cold and look what I'm wearing t-shirt shorts and jandals so heavy right now I'm home. This is the house I grew up in. Just smells, smells like home. So good. The dad's a builder. <laughs> he built this house. Look at this. What the? That's Monica. <laughs> hey! Get me. That's not Kauri, that's... The lining is Kauri and the beam, this beam is Macrocarpa. The square, all the square stuff is cowrie. This is swamp cowrie. This is stuff that's been buried. When I had it carbon dated, they said it was 35,000 years underground. What? So I don't know that. Uh, it's pretty hard to believe, but that's what they say. It's like almost like petrified wood. It's under in a in a peat swamp, and just stays there preserved for thousands of years until you it's exposed to the to the air. And Matt, that, that's Kari, yeah? That's Kari, yeah. That's me. <laughs> Graduating from yeah. university. My sister. Doctor. The boys. Check out our backyard. Three acres. If you come to New Zealand, you have to buy Bogle's bread, tasty cheese, Marmite. So good. Handmade jacuzzi. Have some good times in here. This is what the New Zealand bush looks like. Silver ferns. I clearly remember one of the many parties we had here coming in here just to check on all these teenagers. Two girls with high heeled shoes on. <laughs> what? Stomping around in there. I, could, I couldn't believe it. Haven't played a piano in a while. Recently been working on this, just about there, just about ready to go again. Looks like there's a long way to go yet. <laughs> <laughs> so Dad used to race motorbikes, like old British bikes. I raced that for about five years. This one here is um, 
a water-cooled, an early 1950s water-cooled, horizontally opposed two-cylinder, um, very advanced bike in its day. Wasn't it like a police bike or something? Yeah, these were police. These were used as police bikes because they're so quiet. You could sneak up on people on them. They're very quiet because <laughs> they're water-cooled, shaft drive, uh, hydraulic shock absorbers. About 1952. You're like Bert Munro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Bert Munro lived just down the road from us, and I was brought up in Invercargill. If you haven't seen that movie, go watch it. What's it called? The Fastest Indian. The Fastest Indian. It's yeah. an awesome movie. This is made by Dodge. I've had this truck for 50 years. I remember the first. This, this, I rebuilt this. This was Cowrie Body. I rebuilt this uh, 40 years ago. Well, it, it used to be my work truck. What, what kind of engine has it got? It's the Dodge flat, flathead, six cylinder. Crash gearbox, no synchro mesh. I've got this guy to thank for a lot of my <laughs> mechanical mindedness. All of these toys everywhere. Every tool under the sun in here. There you go. Hope you enjoyed that little tour. I'm gonna chill out with mum and dad now. Tomorrow a bunch of friends are coming over and we're gonna have a bit of a get together. A lot of them have got kids and stuff that I've never met before. Some of them got wives that I've never met before. So six years is a long time. It's so freaking good to be home. Oh, oh, fucking six years. <laughs> Good. My brother just came to surprise me. That's my nephew. I so excited I screamed and I scared him. I keep scaring him. Morning guys. So I got an email this morning from Customs and Immigration and they uh, sent me a reminder that I had to do a COVID test. So let's see what we got to do here. I have to wait 15 minutes for the results, but it worked out well because I needed to do one of these before I go on um, television tonight. I'm on a show called The Project. <laughs> it's so easy to cheat that system. I could have got anyone to do that. Check this out. Yesterday was the New Zealand Sunday Herald. The Herald is the biggest newspaper in New Zealand, and uh, I'm in it. They did an article about me returning to New Zealand. Negative result, baby, you. All right, I'm running a bit late. I'm gonna be on TV in like 20 minutes. Um, my friend Tony's here, he's one of my oldest friends. He's a concrete layer from West Auckland. So that one's on off, and that one's record. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. We'll have fun. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, nice yeah, to meet you. Good to meet you. Yeah. Cheers, I'll be mate. in the control room, so I won't see you until after. All right, mate. We're going in. Up to a million viewers tune in every week to experience life on the open waves with Colin and his crew as they battle hurricanes, lightning strikes and a two-year pandemic, steering toward their ultimate goal, circumnavigating the world. Wow. Please join me in welcoming Colin McRae to the Project News. Now, a lot of other boaties said you were crazy taking a hurricane, hurricane damaged boat. Why did they say that and why did you do it? I basically couldn't have afforded one otherwise. Right. The, the Lagoon 450 was worth about half a million US dollars at the wow. time. Pre-hurricane? Yeah, yeah, like an <laughs> undamaged one. And uh, the only way I could get my hands on one was to get a really damaged one. Yeah, I've got to say, um, you know, you're a very striking fellow. And, um, you know, I don't know, uh, you know, do you need a crew out there? But, because, you know, I'd be keen to come, but I'd find, you know, looking at you maybe a little distracting. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the Everyone else on this boat is really it's hot too, Paddy. It's all yeah. good. Um, please put your hands together for Colin. <laughs> Oh, no worries, mate. Any time. 
That's a wrap. We're out of here. I'm gonna go meet some friends. Emily, you were great. Thanks, so are you. There you go. Yep. That's my five minutes of fame. Alrighty, we are on our way to Oraki Marina. It's just close to downtown Auckland. It's kind of where the uh, headquarters of Lagoon, New Zealand are. So these guys were the ones that originally helped me get in touch with Lagoon headquarters. I was having absolutely no luck getting through. So I'm really, really appreciative of these guys. So it's gonna be nice to meet them. I've never met them before. Um, and they've offered to take us out. And all of our Patreons in Auckland are coming. I think there's gonna be like 25 of us. See you, dude. How's it going, man? Yeah, good, man. Good How to meet you? you, finally. I know. Face to the name. <laughs> oh, Jason. Jason, nice good to meet you, man. Finally. The Lagoon man. Yeah, yeah, we're Lagoon dealers here. So the patrons started trickling in one by one, and we headed over to the dock where a beautiful Lagoon 50 was waiting for us to board. Even though it's only technically five feet longer than Parley, it seemed absolutely huge in comparison. Hey, first of all, welcome everybody to the first New Zealand Patreon meetup. So excited to have you guys here. The Patreon family is growing, but to have the Kiwi support is absolutely mind-blowing. When I, when I put this idea out there, I thought there'd be one or two of you around and you've all come out of the woodwork and it's a, it's a really special thing to, to see. Let's just have a good time and get to know each other. <laughs> Go. The sales are going up. It's not much wind, probably only five knots, but they're putting full sail up. 5.1 knots. It was such a treat to be sailing in Auckland, something I thought I wouldn't have time to do on my very short trip home. We spent the whole afternoon sailing around sharing stories with all the patrons, and the festivities continued back at the dock. We always seem to have a lot in common with our patrons, so we talked about boats and all things related to living at sea long into the night. Morning everyone. Well, I would say that was a huge success. I have to say a huge thank you to uh, Oraki Marine who, who put that on for us. It's just always so, so nice to meet our Patreons. These are the people who support this channel. They are the ones that make this happen. So when we get to meet them in person, it's just a really, really special thing. So thank you to all you Patreons who turned up. And uh, we'll do it again next year in October when we sail into Auckland with Parley. So today we are going to fly to Great Barrier Island. That's where my family live now. What are we doing? Sailing, baby. Sailing, we're sailing, baby. You, bud. <laughs>